Hey guys, uh, for this video we are going to talk about how to create a basic note inside Notability and also go over some of the basic functions and, uh, and then show you how to import. Uh, let's say you want to import a PDF uh, for them to take notes on. I'll show you guys how to do all that here. So we're inside of Notability version 5.41. Now to create a new note, um, right now I'm inside of all notes. And if I create a new note here, I just have to click on the new note icon in the top right hand corner. I click on that. And then it says new note in today's date and time, all that good stuff. Um, let's say that I'm going to create this new note and I am taking some notes on, uh, let's say astronomy. Okay. So I can change the title there and I can click anywhere on the screen to start typing. Astronomy is amazing. Okay, so whenever you create a new note, it defaults to the text to where you can just click and start typing right away. Um, up at the top here, uh, the arrow on the top left hand corner is going to go back uh, into your menu. Um, this send to button, it's kind of like a upload. You could click on that and you can send it to your Google Drive. You could send it out to Twitter. You can share which would share the note with someone. You can also change the format. You could share it as a PDF or a notes, whatever you want there. After you click on share, you can choose what you want. You can also airdrop it uh, if you choose to share it that way. Um, in the middle here, this is the undo button. So you can undo. Oh, I just undid my text. So and then type it again and again. There we go. <clears throat> and then at the top here, we have some basic functions. Uh, it defaults to being on text. You can um, select the uh, handwriting tool, the highlighter tool, the eraser. These are your scissors. And then this is just the pointer. And um, when the pointer's on, I'll, I'll all it does is scroll through. You can't, you can't edit anything. You can't do anything. It's just for scrolling and reading. That's it. So it's kind of like in view only mode whenever that is selected. Uh, on the top here as well is a recording button, uh, which I didn't really mean to start recording there, but that's all right. And then on the top right hand side, we have a plus sign where we can add in media. We have our wrench where we can uh, change the paper and get some help. And then we have our uh, pages icon. And I'll be going into, I'll be going into in depth on all of those, uh, but I just want to show you how to create a basic note here. So let's go back. I'm going to hit the back arrow on the top left hand corner. And you can see that it's been created here on the right hand side. It's in all notes. Now it's unfiled right now because I haven't put it in anything. Um, let's say I want to put this in my astronomy folder. So I open up my science divider and then I can just click and hold in my new note. And let me show you that again, just click and hold. And then now I can move it around where I want it to go. So I want it to go inside my astronomy subject folder. So I just drop it in there and then boom, it's inside my astronomy folder. Um, everything again has been automatically backed up, so it's all saved. Now let's say that I want to import something into here. Um, on your inside of your Google Classroom, I I made an announcement where I shared a PDF of the Cornell note taking guide, and it's just a template for it. So if you would. Just go into your Google Classroom 
And if you go inside, like I'm inside of maths right now, but you go inside your uh, tech time class and you should be able to see my announcement with the attachment here, the Cornell notes template. When you click on it, it should open it up inside your Google drive. And then you just hit this I on the top right hand corner. That's the information button. And then say open in and then say open in again. And then you can select open in notability. That's going to bring it into inside of Notability. And so you can choose to create a new note. You can add it to an existing note, or you can just cancel it all together. Um, let's say I want to uh, create a new note. And I was inside, I don't know if you noticed this, I was inside of the astronomy um, subject folder. So it put it inside of there. Um, but let's say I don't want it inside there. Let's say I want to move it into unfiled. And now it's in unfiled. Then I still have all my same functions. I can, I can write in it. I can type on it. I can do highlight, whatever you need to do there. Uh, so that is the basics on creating a note and uh, importing a PDF or any other file that you choose to post on your Google Classroom.